after obviously the, uh, the original delay in March. Excited to get this thing going. Uh, I'm just excited to fight, man. You know, I think the the delay. What's good for me and my career, you know, it gave me another chance to drop down to 125 and, and fight another top tier opponent like that, like Ian McCall. And I just think it was a great way to uh, get me prepared for my next opponent, which is Joseph Benavidez. And uh, yeah, I feel good, man. No delay. It's all part of the game. Stuff happens. Have you had time to sort of reflect back on your whole career heading into this? You know, I'm sure a lot of it kind of comes to mind thinking about how far you've come to get here. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I never sit back and look at my career. I mean, I sit back and look at all the places I've been, how many fights I've had. But at the same time, you know, it's it's like Vitor Belfort says. That's, I like him a lot. He says it's a journey. You know, this is a journey for me. Um, I'm just starting when I'm 25. He started when he was 17. And I hope, you know, at the end of my journey, I'm still fighting at 35 years old like he is. You know, top tier guy. So it's just a journey. What, what does this weight class mean to you? Like, what would you have weighed, walked around in previously? Um, it all depends. You know, previously, you know, when I fought Dominic Cruz for the 135-pound uh, belt, I mean, I was coming home from training camp, a uh, training at night at 138. So, um, yeah, I'm a small guy, but at the same time, uh, it is what it is. It's what the bo body God gave me, and I'm not going to, you know, shoot my body up with stuff that, just to get bigger. Uh, so it is what it is. And what are your thoughts about Ben Benavides? Oh, Benavides, he's good. I like him. Um, great guy, uh, great uh, athlete, great uh, competitor. And um, I'm ready to get in there and mix it up with them. You know, me and him just got done talking in the UFC office, and I was like, hey, just want to let it out there. I'm wearing green this time. He goes, no, no, it's okay. I got something else to wear. And I was like, all right, all right buddy, sounds good. Do you feel like more eyes are on both of you guys since 151 got canceled and everything has happened since then? I think more eyes, um, I think the eyes are just going to be on us, but now we're going to have more eyes with the addition to John Jones and Vitor Belfort, just because those guys have been, uh, well, John Jones, he's a phenom in the sport, he's got a lot of followers, uh, Vitor Belfort, you know, he's got Brazil on his back, and he's also got a lot of followers since he was 17 years old, you know, me and Joseph, we're still young, we're only 26 years old in our career, so we don't have a lot of eyes, um, as those guys do, but with those guys' help, so we'll get more eyes. How important is it to be the first flyweight champion of the world? Uh, it means the world. You know, I mean, it's it's what we strive for, and uh, to be the first, it's it's fantastic. You know, I'm just glad I had the opportunity to compete in the tournament and show my worth. I guess you can say. Have you thought about Dana wrapping that belt around you before this fight on, on, on Saturday night? Uh, no, I'm gonna turn around here like you know all the press I just did for you. All right, dog. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye. So, does got title fight experience, obviously. So to see, how often do you? In this camp, have you gone back to kind of think back to, to, your, to your last title fight to prepare, you know, think back on the experience, that kind of thing? Um, it, it's, it's kind of hard to say just because the experience was totally different. I was in a different place in my life. Um, I wasn't training full time. I mean, I was, but I wasn't training underneath Matt Hume full time, which I mean, like training six days a week underneath Matt Hume. You know, Typically, when I was training for a Dom fight or any of my previous fights, you know, I had to work. And when I fought Dom, you know, I was training full time, but I was training like three days a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays with Matt Hume training. And other other days, I was just doing my own thing. So I'll be busting my butt in different ways, and then go to Matt, and he'll bust my butt, and my butt is just run down. But you know, just training underneath him, where he's, I'm basically underneath his wing. Everything's going through him, which makes me feel a lot better and more confident. Now that you have 125, you had a few fights under your belt. How did your body feel right now? Right now, I feel good. You know, weight's low. I woke up this morning at 136.2. Um, that's with two gallons of water down. So if I had to make weight today, I'll I'll probably make it. I mean, it'll probably suck. But I uh, had, you know, a full meal last night. So I think as time gets over, you know, my body's going to adjust more. But just from dropping down from 135 down to 125, it's that's a huge Jurassic, you know. Who nobody does that in real life. I mean, that's not realistic. I'm like, hey, you right there. I want you to drop 30 pounds. And then the next day, I want you to rehydrate and I want you to go fight a top tier level guy. Calling me out. And and just, I, hey, hey, or you do it. <laughs> and you. And you. But so, I, but I want to talk to you about about your. Do you feel any advantages? Do you feel stronger at this weight? Do you feel uh, faster at this weight? No. Um, I, I feel the same. I'm just fighting guys who are 5'3 instead of 5'11 who are skinny. That's it. And how did that feel to you? I felt the same. They're just taller. So the reach, the game plan difference have to be different because, you know, I'm shorter and trying to punch a guy up here, you expose your hips, you expose everything. So, I mean, it's part of the game and, you know, I'm not complaining about it. But when I was at 135, you know, guys were big. And I think as time goes on, as the sport gets more uh, bigger, you're going to see guys who are in high school who are like, you know, I don't know, 5'9", 108 pounds. And I'm like, oh, I want to do mixed martial arts. I want to fight at this 115 or whatever. And then they're going to keep that weight there and manage that. 
And then you can see guys who are 125 who are like, I don't know, six foot. I mean, I just see the generation keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Eat, eat lower, center gravity. lower center gravity. There you go, right there. That's what it's about. You used to have a job, I understand. When did you give that up to train? I gave, I gave that up. Um, I broke my leg against Miguel Torres. Then I recovered from that. I went back to work two weeks, and then so I'll probably say maybe six. I had six weeks to train for Dom full time. So 